Ready to go green as the pace car is off here from Martinsville Speedway. The round of eight elimination race is underway. Martin Truex Jr. leads the way down into turn one. He's already locked into the final four along with William Byron who won last week at Homestead Miami Speedway. Ryan Blaney up the track. He's in need of a good day. But Jay, two drivers already locked in. Two more on points. And we have a bit of a points gap that we did not expect to see here uh, at this point in the playoffs. It looks like everybody's going to get cleaned down into turn three. A little bit of three wide in the background. Caution might be out on the surface circuit already actually as we are speaking here the pace car is out so the just like that here's a look at what happened on the original start of the race Todd Gilliland's three wide gets hooked by Cody Ware to turn one contact with the 16 as well doesn't even fully go around but they throw the caution anyways chaos already we also saw some cars come into the pit lane that has already put Chase Elliott up in front of this race here he's 22 points below the cut line coming into this race so uh, it is going to be a tough battle for him now but if he gets 10 stage points in both stages you can never say never he might not even be in a must win scenario here Denny Hamlin already out of the groove there in the background now Ryan Bellaney alongside Kyle Larson here now as Elliott leads the way into turn three Truex following through but Jay Chase Elliott he won here in real life last year in 2021 very strong at a track like Martinsville. I mean, this has got to be one of the tracks you would expect him to perform well at, especially when he's in a scenario where he comes in 22 points below the cut line. You cannot write him off here today. Yeah, fortunate thing for Kyle Busch here, you see he's not inside that top 10 right now. So uh, he, he technically is with Chase Elliott leading, fighting Martin Truex Jr. for that final cutoff, uh, cutoff spot. And that's only a 12-point difference. And right now, Truex getting 9 points, Kyle Busch getting 0. That cuts it down to 3, Gary. So... Kyle Busch is going to have to be uh, a little bit careful here and make sure he gets some stage points and right now not doing that at all. And I mean there you see Chase Elliott leading the way. I mean he's got all over the back now of the 47 and look what's happening. Here comes Martin Truex Jr. actually going to go up the inside. Elliott misses the groove there in turn one and the door is open for Martin Truex Jr. who's had a flawless season. Six wins on the season one being in this round and now he's going to take the lead here in Martinsville. A track that he's still seeking his first Martinsville win. And there you saw Truex right there try to get under the, the lap car. BJ McLeod was was unsuccessful, slipped up the track, and now that allows Denny Hamlin and his teammate to get to the inside. Chase Elliott on the outside right behind him trying to get past the lap car. He's kind of gotten desperate and said, let me go to the outside to get past this lap car of the 66. And it's actually, I think it might work for that nine car. of Chase. Well, it was going to, I think, and then he caught the wall a little bit entering the turn, lost some momentum, and now falls back behind the 66 again. So, yeah, that outside lane is, is basically a death sentence. This nine car got up to the outside groove and has been dropping like an absolute bull at this point not even a rock he is getting demolished and that puts kyle bush up inside the top 10 as well doing everything he needs to do so far late in this first stage a little bit and here comes the nine back through the field gary chase Elliott, once he gets to the end once he got to the inside has been able to make up a lot of spots but again he is going to be disappointed with not winning this first stage and has walked away by three seconds now and, the, and this 11 car looks incredibly strong but there is some other drivers who have come to the field in this first stage that have shown their speed as well so still a lot to watch for here still a lot more lap traffic to deal with but denny hamlin cruises to victory in stage number one truex is going to finish second and then it's a it's a fight back there between Larson and everybody else behind. Chase Elliott works his way back up to a top four finish. That's a really good job of that nine car showing the speed that they have. Ready to go green for stage two. However, one stack up that you saw there under caution has really changed things up. Alex Bowman all the way down to the 31 right there are all trying to maintain on the lead lap. Actually, all the way down to 19th place. Danny Hamlin is scored the leader right now. Uh, and second place actually being Martin Truex Jr. But you see, kind of like Homestead Miami J last week where there was a whole bunch of lap cars in the mix and a bunch of lead lap cars. But that was at the end of the race. Now we're seeing this right now early on in stage two. Uh, so a lot of confusion fusion obviously but you got guys like Alex Bowman Kurt Busch they are out in front but they're not leading they are on the lead lap basically trying to stay on the lead lap as Hamlin chases them down but there's Chase Elliott again Gary making the move now on the inside of the 12 car Ryan Blaney and he's looking to make the move uh and complete here as Ryan Blaney is struggling on the outside lane and he looks like he should get him done right there this nine car does have speed but does he have the time does he have the ability to get through all these lap cars and get himself back up to Denny Hamlin put in there you see Logano uh working on that number 17 of Christopher Busher trying to move up another spot as well and that move him uh move him up into P7 uh as Busher falls to eighth Briscoe there in ninth number 19 Ryan and Blaney going to try and follow through and here comes Joey Logano as well even about to be three wide briefly there as they exit turn two Larson under attack from Blaney Logano we've already talked about being in a must win scenario here and this is the best he's run all day long up there in P6 never say never for that 22 of Joey Logano he's a driver that you put him in a spot where he needs to win he seems
seems to be able to get the job done when it matters most. Looks like Harvickle should be able to move up a position above Kyle Busch heading into stage number three. So Kyle Busch will be the guy on that cut line. And that's exactly what Harvick wanted as well, because if somebody like Chase Elliott or Logano goes and wins this race, That'll keep Harvick in, and it'll push Kyle Busch out. So that's the one other thing Kyle Busch has to worry about. Not only uh, losing points, but if the fact that he loses a position to Harvick in the standings, he then becomes the guy that gets knocked out if somebody is able to win this race and lock themselves into the championship four. Here as he rolls through three and four for the final time. Looking back here momentarily, it looks like Legano has gotten past the number nine of Chase Elliott. Hamlin wins stage two. There's Martin Truex Jr. for second place. Legano Jay is going to go all the way up into third here as they cross the line, setting himself up tremendously for a potential must-win scenario here at stage three going green for stage three same situation as last time a mix of lap cars and lead lap cars however the lead lap cars are a lot closer to the front this time there you see bowman and bubble wallace trying to maintain on the lead lap but denny hamlin your leader right there and kyle bush is one lap down and there's second and third place of logano truex trying to follow through on the inside as well immediately there jay uh, as we see elliot harvick a little bit further back but logano that's the one we're kind of paying attention to, I think, the most now, uh, as he's in a must-win scenario. But in Stage 2, he was showing speed like he might have an opportunity to go out and do exactly that. Whoa. All the 12 runs into the back of him into Turn 1. And he got ran all over by his teammate right there. It gets pushed up to the high line, and now he's going to lose at least one position, if not multiple, uh, at least at least be behind multiple other cars who are a lap down. But 22 fighting well on the outside lane, at least for a moment there, Gary. But, uh, yeah, the 18 car at Kyle Busch right now is basically hoping that nobody knew, like Chase Elliott, or, or really anybody outside the cut line like Elliott, Blaney, Logano, or Bowman does not win this race. And right now, the only one I, who, I, who I think could do it, Gary, is that 22 car of Joey Logano. He's got some pretty good speed, but he has a lot of cars to get through still. Tina, well, Jay, but there it is. Truex up the inside almost there in turn four. I mean, we haven't seen a pass to the lead in what feels like a good 35, 40 minutes at this point. Uh, and here goes Truex now, maybe trying to make that happen. And Truex, wow, he almost made a little bit of contact right there with the 11 car. We know that outside lane is, is a really bad lane for Hamlin or anybody to be in, and that's going to make things, I think, easy here for this 19 car here as he dives into the inside of turn three, and that's going to be an easy pass, Gary Martin Truex Jr. to the lead of this race. And that, I, th I think if you're the 22 of Logano, you maybe want to see them be side by side for a little bit longer, but Hamlin just cannot hold on to the outside lane. That's going to allow Kyle Busch to have a look to the inside. This could be the thing Kyle Busch needs, not just sitting in a, in a single file line because this 22 still has a chance. He's getting past his teammate at Blaney right there, actually getting uh, back past him after Blaney shunted them out of the way earlier. And uh, after that, Gary, I think it's what, maybe four cars in between them? So this 22 certainly has a chance, especially with the pit stops coming as well. Never say never for Joey Logano once again looking strong here in that number 22. And you can see up ahead the battle between Truex and Hamlin, but that 22 is only 1.6 seconds back. I mean, it, it, it appears to be getting a little bit closer oh, to Blaney. That's the second time he's gotten ran into the back from his team to Blaney, who is clearly here to fight very, very hard. And watch to see what happens between the 22 well, and the 18. Never mind. The 12 and the 22 still go at it again. Blaney sends it. Logano lets him have it. And, and that's an interesting move right there from the 22 of Joey Logano. Ryan Blaney's uh, kind of going goblin mode on his teammate of Joey Logano. I mean, if I was in that 22 car, I'd be getting fed up pretty quick. An easy pass for the 12. But Jay, I mean, he's he's drilled his teammate in the rear bumper multiple times in this race. And now he's under oh. attack from the 20, maybe even three wide here as the exit turn two. Help when, you know, your teammate... Oh, he's, he's going to... These two are going at it. I was going to say, I don't, I don't think it helps when your teammate, teammate bends beef. the whole frame on the back of your car twice. But there he goes into the back of his teammate, giving it back to him. I mean, two unexpected drivers going at it here. And then there, I mean, before we even talk about that, Jay, here it is. Logano up the inside of Hamlin, who we never thought we'd see Hamlin even think about losing the lead this race. Now here he is losing second to the driver in a must-win scenario. Logano going into second place. However, second place, a great run for Logano. That is not going to mean anything here. I mean, Drewex is struggling right now to pass the 66 uh, of J.J. Yaley. So, I mean, never say never. We've been saying that all day long. 3.4 seconds a gap. And now it's still 3.4, but it does go down. So Actually getting passed, I think, by a lap car pass. So this is going to help out Logano even more. There's the 42 of Ty Dillon to the inside as Logano, or sorry, as Drewex get, gets into the wall a little bit. The 42 of Ty Dillon is going to get to the inside of Martin Drewex Jr. This is going to help out Logano massively, Gary. Logano may have a chance here. And there you see it was 3.1 seconds last time by. This time it's going to be 2.3. He's gained a whole second in about two or three laps. And all of a sudden, Still this slim possibility. Yeah, I mean, you see this. It's, it's, it's becoming a legitimate possibility now that Logano could make this happen. There are still 40 laps to go. We talked about 50 laps being a warning. It's go time. And it's certainly seeming like it because Logano is stepping it up 2.3. Oh. Now it's going to be 1.8. Jay Truex needs to figure this, this out quick. for Truex. 
This is an absolute killer for Truex, who's stuck on the outside and has two other cars, the 3 and the 18, want to do the exact same thing if he's if the 42 gets past. And there goes the 18 of Kyle Busch actually sending to the inside. And Logano was here, Gary. He could get to the inside as Austin Dillon's still there. This is the perfect chance for Joey Logano. Must win scenario for Logano. He didn't even be, he wasn't even in the top 10 in stage one. Stage two, he kind of crawled his way into the mix. Oh. At stage three, it is game Truex on. Unbelievable scenes, Jay. Logano he is doing is the here. unthinkable. The outside lane, terrible. Truex almost has no chance. Logano has got the speed. Truex in the outside wall, as he does every time on the outside lane. Logano to the inside in three and four. This should be an easy pass, Gary. The 19 car of Truex has had an ultimate downfall all of a sudden. Joey Logano now leads, trying to get into the championship for a save his season. And as of right now, if it ends right here, Kyle Busch is out of the Final Four. Harvick still is in, and that's, I mean, Kyle Busch is, of course, praying that his team at Martin Truex Jr. finds a way back forward because Kyle Busch, it is going to be really impossible. He is a lap down. Actually, no, he's the last car to lead lap, so it's not impossible, but Harvick is well inside the top 10. Uh, so right now, as it stands, uh, it's uh, Harvick is one point behind Kyle Busch coming into the stage. Well, Kyle Busch runs 11th. Harvick runs 7th, so that puts Harvick above above Kyle Busch currently. Big time. Look Car's pitting. Corner. That's going to allow Truex to send it up the inside. We're not done yet. Gary Truex is here. Sent it. Now Logano got cut off guard a little bit. Got a little bit loose. Goes back down to second place. But Logano might be thinking about the pit lane here. Logano do. He won the war the very next week. So Logano, again, trying to do that same thing here. Trying to send Truex Jr. to the outside lane and, and behind it back into second place now. And all this battling has allowed those lap cars, Gary. I think the 99 and the 38 might have pitted. And you can see the difference in tires there. If they have pitted, it's certainly an advantage. And if you're joining Logano, Pit now. Well, Truex there is going to look to the inside potentially of Logano. This is a battle that we Ooh. say Jay is not over. He is as well. He's not fighting for himself. He's trying to help his teammate of Kyle Busch at this point and keep Logano out of that final four. Logano right there was able to just for a moment sneak by on the outside lane to be clear, but he, he obviously, if he had shut the door, he probably would have gotten turned, so he had to just kind of stay up on the outside lane. That allows Truex now to get clear for the lead once again. But Logano wide on the exit of the corner. That does not help at all, and Truex, he's going to pitch. Jay Logano's going to stay on the racetrack. This could be uh, maybe a very, very bad goal for the 22, or I mean, if Truex comes out in traffic, who even knows how this is going to work out at this point? They're both going to be in traffic, and the, the 22 might have gotten saved by that a little bit, but there goes the 22 right now exiting the pit lane. Here comes Truex. I is going to beat him out. Logano's going to have him. Logano's going to have Truex by a very good margin here, Gary, and with car, multiple cars between them as well. This is very good. Oh, well, never mind. There goes those it's cars. It's game so on. Gonna have, yeah, it's game on now. No more cars in between the 22 and the 19. Now everything is in play for the 19 car and the 22 as well. Logano got to push as hard as possible. This is certainly something to watch out for then. Kyle Busch can still save his season, especially with Truex, or sorry, Harvick, maybe getting put on the outside lane there, Gary. The 18 has a chance here. I thought he was done and dusted, but he actually has fought back and has a chance still. And, and the battle right there is right here. This is going to make it a tie. The Kyle Busch passing the 14 ties it up. So it's a tie game right now between Harvick and Kyle Busch. Harvick needs his teammate of Briscoe to maybe get it back up the inside or anybody for that matter to go back up the inside and pass him. Kyle Busch has had a continuous drive back forward and Harvick now is at risk of being eliminated in the playoffs if Joey Logano wins. But Jay, look at this. Martin Truex Jr., stuck. we can't write him off because yes, look at the traffic he has to deal with. He's going to go up the inside, but I mean, Harvick's got to hope. Uh, of course, if it, if it comes down to a tiebreaker, we will have to go back and look at the past two races to see who has finished better between the two. But Jay, we already know Kyle Busch had a top three uh, last week in Miami. So it's really down to what Harvick did the week before uh, at that point here. But there it is. Logano has done nothing but help himself here. But as well, Jay, we look at the laps we have left, 14 laps to go. He is going to run down this group of cars that are all fighting now for the final spot in this round. What it could be if Logano wins this race. Kevin Harvick at this point is in a pretty good position. The 18 of Kyle Busch has a lot of work to do with the 17 and I think one other car being in between them as well. Well, the 17 passes him. It's once again a tie uh, as Kyle Busch. If he gets passed by the 14, oh, there he goes. He's back past the, the 14. So Harvick, if the 14 gets in front, he's back in by one point. Oh, this all of a sudden, Jay, we have the 45 on the inside of Logano and here comes Martin Truex Jr. Logano had a two-second lead. No longer has a two-second lead. Truex was looking to get to the inside. Logano kept the momentum. That's crucial he got right to the there. Of the 21 of Harrison Burton, and now Logano able to put the 21 between him and the 19. Possibly Truex looking to get to the inside. Don't think he's going to do it. No, he will. He, he will send it. So the 19 right with the 22 of Logano, Gary. There's a, there's a. We're coming to nine laps to, or ten laps to go, and there is still a lot to be settled here between the four, the 18, the 22, and the 19. I mean, Kyle Busch has been absolutely stuck on the outside lane. Has been slipping, Gary. Nowhere near the 14 anymore. I think I would. 
like at this he's point, out right now has no chance of getting back into the points unless the 14 car gets caught on the outside much like Kyle Busch has done right now I mean Jay and I mean best case scenario for Logano is this he needs to hope that he's got cars that he are on the outside because it basically uh keeps Martin Truex Jr. from being able to make a move up the inside so this right here is exactly what the 22 needs side lane because Truex just got put to the outside by Austin Dillon in the background Gary Two laps to go in Martinsville. There's Briscoe. Harvick's got uh, another car in between them. So Harvick now is in as it stands right now as he's put another car in between him and Kyle Busch. Logano is coming to the final lap of the race. But hold on. I mean, uh, Truex in the background has got another driver up his inside. That's Kyle Larson. Now McLeod to the inside of the 22. White flag is in the air. It's been a caution-free stage, but it's been one of the most dramatic stages of the season. And here it is through one and two. Joey Logano in a must-win scenario, Jay has one more straight away to go up on the outside which is uncomfortable but so is Truex in the background the 78 of BJ McLeod not making things easy on this lap, lap for, last lap for Joey Logano but off turn four it's gonna be a win in Martinsville it's gonna be a lock into the championship four for Joey Logano Joey Logano in Kyle Busch out Gary that's a huge win for Logano and a must win hold on he does what he needs to do and actually wait you're right hold on because Kevin Harvick still has a whole lap here to fight with the 14 and the nine and through three and four, it's going to be okay. Harvick will make it. He hangs on out of turn four, crosses the line. Kyle Busch finishes 10th. A great day, but not good enough. Harvick got the stage points over him in stage one and two, finished another additional handful of points above in stage three, and he will advance into the final four. And Kyle Busch, Kyle Busch is going to be out.